Tuesdays after school went about the same way. Me pouting, whining, stomping up the stairs, all because I had to go to dance class. <laughs> I hated every second spent in that studio, staring into the water wall mirrors and checking my watch every five seconds to see when I could run out of the doors and into the sanctuary that became my mom's car. The teachers, the pressure to succeed, and the people staring at me when I failed became all too much for me. Whenever I walked into that studio, I instantly felt worse about myself, and my self-confidence plummeted. I had never want to quit anything more. I often tried to get out of going back each and every week, but no matter what I said, every Tuesday, I found myself back at that place. When I fake sick, my mom never believed me and made me go anyway. The only time I ever got out of dance class was by telling her I had some huge test to study for, and don't tell my mom, but sometimes it worked. <laughs> I didn't hate dance class because I hated the physical fitness that it brought. It was just the mental strain of knowing, no matter what I did, I would never be as flexible as the other girls. I lacked the natural flexibility and graceful moves that all the other dancers had. And this was most obvious when it was time to stretch and do splits. I would often hide in the bathroom for 15 minutes while the other girls showed off their splits and other tricks. And in the seventh grade, I tried out for the dance team. You guessed it, I didn't make it. <laughs> but I wasn't offended. To be completely honest, I was not as good as the other girls, nor did I care at all. But I took it all as a sign. It was time for me to end my dance career. And my parents agreed. <laughs> Under one condition, I had to choose another sport. Luckily, the end of my dance career was not the end of my sports career. And in the eighth grade, I began playing lacrosse. I loved it from the second I leased up my cleats. And ironically, Tuesdays, one of the days I have lacrosse practice, became some of my best days of the week. The feeling of watching your teammates score a goal, because I never do, <laughs> or intercepting that pass perfectly, is a feeling like no other. I'm glad I found a sport that I love, because the odds are, if I didn't, I would have been sports altogether. Did you know that over 70% of kids over the age of 13 do not participate in any organized sports, despite record high participation rates in elementary school? There are several reasons for this. One is burnout, which, as you can guess, was certainly the case for me with dance. Other reasons are stress injuries, which can be caused by repetitive muscle movements at a young age. Other reasons are the t amount of time it takes up, the cost, and coaches and parents who honestly just care too much about winning. This is incredibly unfortunate, as there is a lot of research that shows participating in sports at the high school level is incredibly beneficial. For example, their grades tend to be higher, they tend to be more responsible, they learn essential leadership skills at a young age, among a multitude of other great things. They also are less likely to engage in drug and alcohol or perform any risky behavior. Although my lacrosse career will definitely not result in me being on one of those prestigious lacro college lacrosse teams, lacrosse is teaching me lessons every day. So we need to tell the youth to participate in sports and participation must be the main focus because by participating, we can all be winners. Thank you.